Welcome to Chia episode number 743. Today, we're going to be talking about the top Chia resources. And okay, not really 743, but I've been cranking these things out and you guys are loving it. So I appreciate all the support and I'm going to help you by the end of this video, have a better grasp of how to survive in the Chia industry. <laughs> Is it an industry now? I don't know. But this network is growing fast. So shameless self-plug, you can check out my channel, Coin Breakthrough, and we post videos every day, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So if you want to follow along with what's going on in Chia, blockchain industry, cryptocurrency, NFTs, then be sure to subscribe and hit notifications. But on this channel, you can go to playlist and find my playlist on Chia Network. And here in this playlist, you can find all of my Chia related videos. This was my first one and going upwards is the newer ones. So where do you start here? You can start at the beginning if you want to watch all of them, but there's a few I recommend watching because it's going to answer the most questions I've received in the comment section. So watch the complete build for Chia Farming. That's going to talk a little bit about how it works. Even if you don't decide to go with that exact build, there's a lot of different builds out there. And we're going to talk about some other ones coming up here soon. Watch that video because it's going to give you the basis. And then Chia Plotting and Farming, which is how to actually take that computer and start plotting to hard drives and building your farm. So those are the two big resources, but also just wanted to share the rest of this list because a lot of the questions people are asking me, I've answered like five times in these videos. The next thing is the Chia Network homepage and the Chia Network FAQ. So obviously I hate to be that person who's just like, oh, did you read the website? But a lot of the stuff is on here and there's a few different good resources related to this. So the first one is their blog, the news, and the FAQ. This is where you're going to get most of your big questions answered. For example, here's a question on why we are pre-farming, which I've received a lot of questions about. You know, answers on the technical aspects of the consensus algorithm, lots of stuff right here. And then at the very bottom of the page, there's a link to GitHub, which is gonna have a lot of resources, not just code. So if you go in here, you can go into the Chia blockchain and just scroll through here. And there is a wiki the repository wiki, and this is going to have guides on pretty much everything you need to know. So I've received a lot of questions about SSD endurance. How important is that? You can get more information there. There's also guides for plotting, farming, Chia Lisp if you're into the development. Oh, another important one is Windows because I haven't created any videos using the Windows operating system. So if you're on Windows, you can check that out. Oh, and then they need to add the link over here, but the CLI command reference right here, this is where a lot of the more technical stuff on setting up a script is talked about, but this is really important if you really want to scale in Chia, and I did talk about that a little bit in my Chia plotting farming video if you want some more examples there. Okay, so just go through the GitHub. There's tons of stuff on there. There's a quick start guide and FAQ on here talking about how to install it, and a really good one in here which is how much you're gonna earn with a certain amount. I have only 10 terabyte. Will I ever win Chia on mainnet? And it goes through an example of how to calculate it with a 200 petabyte total storage on the main network, which has increased since then. So you'll need to adjust, but you can get the total size using my next resource, which is Chia Explorer. So Chia Explorer has sponsored some of my earlier videos, but they're not sponsoring this video. I'm just sharing it because it's a legit resource. And you can see the net space here is just past 400, which is crazy. You can get the current price of Chia, which looks like it's gone up, but it's still zero. No, I'm just kidding. I think that's just a placeholder. You can check this out if you want to get the price of Chia when it enters circulation next month. You can go in here and find the top farmers and all kinds of cool stuff. So this is the total Chia, which includes the pre-mine. And then this is how many coins have actually been farmed. You can see the top addresses. Chia Network's uh, pretty high there. And then someone has 33,000 Chia. Dude, I don't know what the price of Chia is going to be, but they're probably going to be rich, just saying. Okay, so this next resource I literally just found out about yesterday. And it's really awesome. All right, so this you can calculate everything about how much money, how many plots you're going to make. Everything you need to know about calculating with Chia is on this website. So for example, I can say I have 1000 plots, just 1000 there. The total network space is a little over 400. I'm going to win Chia about every 22 hours, which is going to be since you get two Chia per time winning is going to be a little over 66 Chia per month. Once Chia has a price that will allow me to calculate my earnings. This is currently based on what the estimated Chia price is right here is 20. 
I really don't know the price of Chia. I did a speculation video, but I've heard estimations all over the board. I mean, some people think it's going to be worth like a dollar to ten dollars. Some people think it's going to be worth thousands of dollars. I cannot say at all. So let's just say 200 bucks. You know, now we're making some pretty good money. But, you know, if this was the earnings, people are going to jump in and, you know, start plotting away. So this will quickly find some equilibrium of some sort where the computing cost and the time of setting it up and waiting and getting all those plots is equal to what the Chia is worth. You can also do some hardware costs and they're based on these links down here. Uh, we'll see if these are even in stock. So yeah, these look like they might be in stock soon, but they're not quite, but you can get up to 16 or 18 terabyte, which currently are unavailable for the 16, but the 18 terabyte's still there and in stock April 28th, so there's still a chance. Um, which if you're from the USA, you're probably not gonna have to pay import fees. Uh, I don't know why it says China here. Maybe that's just the link they gave me. All right, so in the United States, 18 is available. 16 is maybe available from other, from sellers directly. And then you can check out all of these. So far, so good. But if you want to check out some of the drives I've recommended, including solid state drives, you can check out my Amazon store. So amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Caleb Curry. That's me. Here you'll find my shop and you can go down here and find hard drives. And there's going to be a bunch of different hardware that I've talked about in previous videos, including some drive bays and some network attached storage. Uh, we got some solid state drives and some hardware hard drives, which I probably need to update because I think this one is currently out of stock or at least not Amazon Prime. So I'll add some of the Seagate expansion 16 terabytes, which are a good option and are priced pretty good. I'm also going to check Prime over here. So I'll add some that are Prime. The stock for these drives is just going away like crazy. Next up, we have Chia Decentral, which is a fantastic place for guides, buying guides, all kinds of cool stuff. And I talk regularly with the two people who started this, so we'll probably do some collaborations up in the future. But for now, you can go here and you can find their guides as well as news such as improvements in Chia 1.04. So here they have really good, you know, tables showing the different numbers. And if you want to take Chia seriously, like possibly make it your job, this is the resource for you. So check them out, highly, highly recommended. One of the founders here, storage underscore JM, works at Intel, product manager for solid state drive. So there's literally no one more qualified to create this. So definitely recommend it. Kyle Nolan, talk to him too, he's really good. Which leads me to the next natural resource, <laughs> which I mean, I, these are resources. And you know, it's naturally the one I was gonna talk about, but I didn't mean natural resources like water. So join this if you want to be part of the Chia discussion. It's kind of like a Discord, sort of. And Bram is on here, the Chia creator. And Gene Hoffman, he, he's really active. So yeah, join this group. Pretty good. I'm in there. That's where you can get all of your questions and stuff answered after you've already gone through all these other resources. If you go in there and you're like, yo, what's Chia? People might just be like, yo, go away. Next up, we have the Chia Forum. I'm not sure how active this is, but I'm pretty well connected with a lot of the people starting these different projects. So I think this has a lot of potential and is definitely preferred if you're not so much into the instant messaging of Keybase and you're, you want to be able to uh, go old school with the forums. I think this has really good potential. So, you know, for example, you can scroll through here. There's, look at this. I mean, in the activity, there's just been tons and tons of different posts here. So lots of potential. Oh, check this out. Good video of a Chia plotter. Whoa, dude, who's that? What a handsome young man. There is also a Reddit for Chia. So check that out if you want to see, uh, you know, yourself be disappointed when people are showing that they have to wait a month to win Chia. But there's also a lot of cool stuff here as well. And this person is actually saying that they got their plots sooner than they expected. So, you know, this could be a good resource if you are new and you want to just start building up your plots and, you know, different build designs and all kinds of cool stuff. Now, here's a big one. Okay, I am having problems syncing. This has been a really big issue lately, and here are some people talking about it and different things you can do to help support the network as well. So that's just an introduction to some of the different resources out there for the Chia network. There's a lot, and my suggestion is just pick one or two of these and get really involved with it. You know, whether that's the key base and 
Reddit, or maybe you're following Chia Decentral and you're active in the key base, don't overwhelm yourself with all these different avenues because that's just going to be really hard to keep up on. Pick a couple. Oh, I forgot my YouTube channel. Stick with the YouTube videos. Subscribe, enable notifications. Let me know if there's any really cool resources out there that I forgot. Leave them in the comment section below. Really appreciate that. And maybe we'll do a part two when there's some new cool projects out there. I think once the coin goes into circulation, the interest is going to go even higher and we'll see what kind of projects come into existence. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.